Hi guys, you are watching my TJ Maxx and BH Cosmetics haul. And you'll notice that I am wearing different clothes and in a different place in most of my video. But that is because I filmed it and I went back and realized that you something happened and you couldn't hear my audio with my video and it's just like all messed up so there's a few parts I had to redo um, so if you see me wearing different clothes and in a different place that is why so I hope you enjoy the rest of my video I have like um, I have one no two makeup products but I'm really not wearing them because it's just been so crazy packing and just like interviewing for jobs and all that kind of stuff but anyway I was too lazy to put it on so I will wear it in another video but today I don't have it on, I'm very sorry for that. I think I'm gonna talk about my least favorite product that I got at TJ Maxx first, and then work backwards to my most excitingly favorite new product. So the first thing is this Argani Care uh, Advanced Eye Cream. Not gonna lie, I got it in the clearance section, it was like, I don't know, three dollars, maybe 250. I'm gonna say it was 250. That's how much clearance this was on. But it has, um, it's certified organic oil of argon. And I really wanted an under eye cream because I have little tiny um, bags right here, like wrinkles, not full on bags, but little wrinkles. So I really wanted to get an eye cream. And anyway, I only use, like I've had this for over a week now and I used that much. Like I barely use any at all. And I use it twice a day. And I haven't noticed a difference at all, basically. I have eczema around my eyes and it did help a little bit with that, but I haven't noticed a difference at all. So it was $3 in boss. So my next thing that I got was this MAC Studio um, eyebrow kit. It's just like, oh gosh, it's hard to open. Okay. It's just like two colors. I have a dark and a light and I don't really use the dark because it's a little too dark for me, but the light matches really, really well. So when I take the time to do it, um, I do think that it is a good product. Wouldn't say that it's my favorite eyebrow um, kit, but it does the job. It doesn't stay on all day though. It does fade throughout the day, which is a disappointment because it does look really good whenever I do it in the morning. But in the long run, I don't think I'd buy this again. But again, it was pretty cheap. It was like, I wanna say like $5 of TJ Maxx. It was really cheap is this 40 carats retinol rich skincare sleep cream and i really really like this a lot i don't think i've noticed too too much of a difference but i think that my skin is a little brighter and it does feel a little more moisturized um it's not that thick not it like your skin absorbs it pretty quickly so when i think of a sleep cream i think of something very heavy and it takes like all night for your skin to absorb it but this absorbs pretty quickly so sometimes i'll put on like two coats of it if i'm feeling really dry but basically it's carrot and a kai. I, I'm never sure how to pronounce that. I'm gonna go with a kai. And um, it's power surge of antioxidant retinols to repair the day's damage from environment, stress, and photoaging. I will say that I went to go on their website and they don't have one. Like I found it, I found their stuff on Amazon and all this kind of stuff. I've never heard of this brand before until I went to TJ Maxx. So I don't really know what the deal with this is, if it's like, discontinued or what, but um, I would recommend this sleep cream. I'm going to do a before and after picture and if you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Tumblr, and I'll probably put it on Facebook too, I have a before I started using the um, sleep cream, the eye cream, and then also this vitamin serum that I'll be talking about in a second, um, and then an after picture, and I don't think I've realized too, too much of a difference, but you'll have to see if you can get sure of which person next thing I'm going to talk about is, this is a tie. This and my next thing I'm going to talk about are my two favorites that I got from TJ Maxx. This is 40 Carats Retinol Rich Skin Care um, Carrot Plus Vitamin C Vitamin Serum. And when you put it on, it's a little bit tacky. Um, like, it feels like, I don't know how to explain it, but like a little tacky on your face. But I really, really like it. It smells so good and I really feel like it is working. Um, it's really, really high in antioxidants. It's supposed to recharge stressed skin. And I like it a lot. You just put on like one before you put on your moisturizer in the morning. And I put a little extra like around my eyes. And I love it a lot. So I would definitely recommend this 40 Carats Retinol Rich Skin Care Vitamin Serum. And I think that's like $6. So that's a really good price. This was 6 and the sleep cream was also six. So for $12, you got two really good products. 
I also forgot that I recently got this tumbler and it is glass. And I had to get a new one because I'm a nanny and the little boy I nanny for accidentally dropped it and broke it, which I was kind of happy about because I really needed a new one and now I had an excuse to get one and it's very durable and I like it a lot. It helps me to drink water like good people are supposed to. With a tie for the vitamin serum, um, I have this Paula Dorf um, eyeshadow palette. And it is Eye Expert Hazelnut, and I do not have a hazelnut eyes, I have blue eyes, but the colors are just so gorgeous. Like I'm not I'm not even kidding. And I'm gonna do one of those cool things that the makeup tutorial people do where they put all the shades on the back of their hand because you know I want to be cool like them. But these are the colors. Um, I've been using them every day since I've gotten them. I really love them so much. There's, um, they're very warm, uh, rose gold, and you have so many options of how fancy you want to make it. You can make it really, really sparkly, or you can have it toned down and make it an everyday look. I love it so much. So, as I have said in one of my previous videos, my good friend, old Sammy Joe, said that I needed new makeup brushes very badly, and I agreed. So, I bought these. Look how pretty they are. And I got them from BH Cosmetics, and I believe that they are the Sculpt and Blend set, but I'm not positive on the name, so I'm gonna put the link down below. And they were on sale for, I wanna say like $17, and I got them with shipping and handling for $25. And you get 10 brushes. Actually, three of these aren't from those brushes, but you get 10 brushes, and um, they're really good. They're so soft, they're really dense, which I like a lot because they hold a lot of powder. Um, but I do think that I'm going to make a tutorial for these because when I got them, I looked up um, tutorials for them on YouTube to just you know get a feel of how um, other people use them day to day. But I couldn't find any, I found like two. So I think I'm gonna do one once I find out more about them and how I should use them and all that kind of stuff. But I've already been using them a good bit. You get five big face brushes. Um, and I will also, I mean, you can read up on each one of them, but when I did the tutorial, I'll probably name each one specifically and what they are meant for. And then you also get five little brushes. Uh, oh, I only have four here. Oh, here's the fifth one. And you can use them as face brushes. I use three for face brushes. Actually, I think I use two for face brushes and three for eye brushes. So you really do, like, for the money that you pay for them, they are really good brushes. I would really, really, really recommend these. And as a bonus item, I totally forgot to that. I got these three e.l.f. cosmetic um, brushes. They're just really small ones. Um, I use them for my eyebrows, and if I wanna do um, eyeliner with a eyeshadow, then I also do that. And they are the small smudge brush, the angled eyeliner brush, and also the small angled brush. And I do use them very frequently, and I think that they are very high quality. I continue to buy from e.l.f. all the time, and I really, really love their products. As promised, here are the four colors, and you can see that it, it does have a little trouble showing up, and I don't think mine looks as cool as when the other makeup people do it, so I'm kind of sad, but um, I really like the colors, and I don't think that this does it justice, to be honest, but I'm going to try to get a close-up of the colors in the palette. Here is the close-up for the palette colors, and I don't think they even have specific names, but they're just really pretty. The top one is a coppery bronze one, then you have a champagne colored one, a dark, um, like kind of a cocoa color. Then I would call this, it's very purpley nude. Yes, those are the actual color names that I just made up for them. All right guys, that is the end of my haul that really wasn't that big, but I got a lot of stuff. Um, and not that much stuff at TJ Maxx, which is a huge accomplishment. Usually I spend so much money in there because everything's like $2, $3, and then I put everything in my cart and it was so expensive. Anyway, thanks for watching Simply Emily, and make sure to keep watching on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, especially on Fridays because I'm starting a new segment, but it is a surprise, so I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but you got to watch to find out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on my uh oh and also follow my facebook instagram twitter and tumblr yeah i'm really branching out bye guys